Witam was ponownie z tej strony Halavander i gramy dalej w The Stanley Parable. Kilka rzeczy mi opisaliście w komentarzach. Hmm, ponoć wejść w opcji można i wyłączyć achievementy i dostanę achievement. A włączone, włączyć. Achievement on. Saves? Zapisy? Nie, dziękuję. Okej, okay, i swoją drogą sprawdziłem ten confusion, e confusion ending, tak? I nie ma dalej nic, niestety. Można zobaczyć jeszcze Adventure Line. A tak to dalej nic nie ma. Grajmy dalej. Zobaczymy, jak to nam wyjdzie. Ktoś jeszcze opis czytałem, że jest więcej tych rzeczy. Op. I za każdym razem ponoć nie ma już tych listków. O nie! But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Cholera. A moment, czemu nie ma tych kartek w sumie? Może i tak wezmę saves. Saves. Ok, niech będzie. All of his co-workers were gone. What, What could it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. memo. Oh. Hmm, jestem naprawdę ciekaw. Te komputery też. Oh. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Zgadza się. Door on his left. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. To kąt tym razem. Jestem ciekaw. Jednej rzeczy. I konsoli nie mogę odpalić. Gdzie te 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 kartki znikły? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Dobra, działać. Chodzi o to, że podnoć jest achievement za zakończenie wykonanie w pięć minut gry. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. So a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying. And began to gently float above the ground. Oh, what the fuck? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marvelled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Uh. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now 
as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Wow. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. What? So... Czemu nie ma pierków na ziemi? Pamiętacie, powinno być od cholery. Ktoś właśnie mówił, że odnośnie każdego końca zmienia się różne pokoje się zmieniają i tak dalej, i tak dalej. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? But is this Stan, this office? Tak? Słuchajcie, z moją drogą. Tego, ta, ta babka, która do nas mówiła w poprzednim odcinku, w sumie ma rację. Wybory są tylko dwa, albo gramy i przegrywamy tak naprawdę cały czas, bo nie, kontro nie możemy przejąć kontroli nad y, tym, co się dzieje, albo możemy wyjść i przestać grać. To są jedyne wybory, taki poziom meta, nie? Ale wow, z, z tym ty poprzednim... Ja nie, nie wiem, to jest dziwne. To jest dziwne, naprawdę nic nie rozumiem. I czemu teraz tak sobie... Nie wiem, co się dzieje, po prostu, wiecie? Narratorze, pomóż mi. Niech ktoś mi proszę powie, czy faktycznie to coś nam da, te zapisy. Będę bardzo wdzięczny, bo nie jestem pewien. Ok, zobaczymy coś tutaj. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nie. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, była... just to admire it. Just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open prosto. door on his left. I 
Uwaga. Proszę nie kłamać. Jeśli teraz kłamiesz w tym momencie, przestań. Możemy tu wejść? Proszę nie skakać, kiedy jest w ruchu. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> okay. Nie ma końca. Idziemy, ale nie skaczemy teraz. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ale po wcześniejszym zakończeniu, jak on zaczął mówić, czy to jest po biuro Stanleya? What the hell? When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Jak wygrać tylko w pięć minut? Wow. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Powiedział coś innego, ja przyspieszyłem, przepraszam was. Come on. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Tak spieszyłem, nie sądzę, że powiedział coś innego, przepraszam was. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Nie bezpieczeństwo wszędzie. Nope. Who book we? Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Co jest na nieśli pójdę przez czerwony? Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. I know we should have it here. Oh, Jesus, what is that? You're meowing them. Okay, come on. What do we want? What are we looking for? Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. Okay, mam iść dalej? No, wait. Where are you going? Right. Where were we? Co się dzieje? Czy to jest jakieś zakończenie również? Bo tego nie, nie kojarzę zupełnie.
Nie, idziemy dalej. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. What the hell? Sam. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. No! Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? There, see? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Okay. I? Co teraz? Wiesz co, wiesz co, narratorze, wal się i, i nie, koniec tego. Spieprzaj. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. No, 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 what do you, do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Nic nie mów, zamknij się. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Yes. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Ale to coś się stanie? Nie, no stary, to jest to samo. No, perhaps not. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Yeah. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. Ale jak? Przecież tam nie mam nic do niej. Looks like you want. Do you actually want to stay alive, or are you just teasing me? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish. I still thought that was possible. Nie, stary, tu nic nie ma, a dopóki ty już tu nie... Przecież... Tylko ty masz tego radochę. Nie, nie powiedziałbym, że mam radochę z zabijania się, ale stary... No, no, no. O, zamilkłeś? Teraz zamilkłeś, naprawdę? Nie masz nic do, powiedzi do powiedzenia? No dobra. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Nie ma końca. Wow, ludzie. Nic nie rozumie. Co się dzieje? The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Co? Dobra. Chodźmy tam. Albo nie, chodźmy jeszcze następny. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room 
that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley. Its grace, its subtle charm. No, Stanley knew it was something deeper, something darker. What? Co? Co to powie mi? Co? Kawa? Chodzi o to? Czy mniejszego, mroczniejszego? Yes, really, really worth it. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Dobra. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Super, dobra, no wróciliśmy. Yet there was not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Do nic zrobimy. Czy mogę tu coś jeszcze zrobić? Na pewno mogę nie zgodzić się. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. What the fuck? Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay. <laughs> Dobra, to było nawet niezłe. Coś się zmieniło? Nie. Dobra. Ucieczka nam nic nie da, to już robimy, ale spróbujemy włączyć maszynę zamiast ją wyłączać. Kontrolną. I wtedy zakończę odcinek, sorry, że tak. Będzie, to będzie długi odcinek. Jestem taki zmieszany, jeśli chodzi o poprzednie... Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Tam pójdę. Mm -hmm. Wyłączymy maszynę. Zamiast ją włączać. Jak to zrobić, żeby pomógł nam przyspieszyć w pięć minut? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Ah, okay, okay. Tam byliśmy. This mind control facility it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all tak. this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he 
would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation That's system. Fine. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Ah! Mere moments until the bomb goes off. This is what precious moments each one of them is. It's more time to talk about you. Fuck you! About me. Where we're going. What all this means? I barely know yes, where to yes, start. What's that? I can't know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn Correct. to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Music. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These more No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. To look at the one fuck the a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Nie ma końca. What the... Okej. Okay. Żegnam się z wami i zaraz wracam. Dzięki wielkie za oglądanie, zobaczymy w następnym odcinku. Chcę zobaczyć o co chodzi.